guys so this video is in uh, continuation uh, in the series of designing open source employee monitoring system so in the last video we have seen the comparison in between sqs sns and iot core service and we have decided to use iot core uh, in our use case so basically uh, the use case would be like uh, we wanted to publish some of the changes uh, configuration changes and all the device should get notified about that change basically okay so in this video we will be going to see how we can implement that functionality and basically uh, if from technical side basically how we can subscribe onto the aws iot core okay using python basically so uh, let's switch over to the aws console and uh, uh, let's see how we can do this okay so basically first of all uh, i am assuming you are inside this aws iot console what you what we need to do is we need to search iot core okay and once we are inside the iot core what we need to do is we need, so if you see it here like it basically uh, give you an option to connect the devices but we will come this come here later okay so uh, let's uh, quickly first see the uh, options it is providing so connect basically connect one device connect many device okay that makes sense then after we have test mqtt client so uh, what basically test is let us suppose you wanted to publish anything on this iot core so uh, you need to write code code basically python code for that right but AWS console provide you this test option so basically you can just go here and you can uh, publish onto a topic and you can subscribe to a topic okay so let us suppose what I will do I will quickly write uh, demo uh, slash topic one okay and I will going to subscribe on it okay uh, I will clear it just uh, for the uh, sake of clarity and if I publish here so I will going to uh, send a hello on demo topic one. So okay, uh, really sorry for the spelling issues. So uh, I think it is not be formatted actually. That's an issue. Just give me a second. Uh, so I will most probably it is supporting JSON only. So I will send in that format. Okay, so if I publish it, so he, he, you, here you will see like we, we, we got the message, right? So here we got the error like uh, hello from hello on the demo topic one, but this message can't be showed in this formatted way. The reason being it is not proper JSON. So that's a reason. But the point is uh, using AWS console, basically we have, uh, we have tested like how we can publish and how we can subscribe like, right? So this publish thing uh, will be going to perform our uh, application on the cloud like uh, the user would uh, kind of perform some action and this uh, eventually our code uh, will going to publish it and subscribe is basically done on the devices and all the device get this message in this format only whatever the relevant message that we have pushed okay will got that message so that is basically subscribe and publish okay so in this video what we will be going to do we will be subscribing it from the device using our python application using the python i mean the python code but publish we are going to do it from the test console only okay so just just to make things a, a little easier for us okay so now uh, that's done after that what we need to do is we wanted to have uh, uh, this uh, as, as discussed in the previous point this iot core is nothing is just a server right uh, so how we can get the uh, uh, kind of uh, host name of the server so what we need to do is we need to switch uh, kind of go to the last and we will go inside the settings okay and we need to copy this endpoint basically that is that is really important okay so make sure to copy this endpoint i will i will i will uh, discuss this code completely uh, later but for now uh, i think you can just copy this iot endpoint somewhere okay so that uh, we we don't lost it okay so we have this iot endpoint now again switch back to the console so in the next step what we need to do is we need to go inside the things okay so things basically represent a device okay so for us it is it is just a device right so ideally let us suppose if uh, in the future we, we will be going to have hundred of uh, laptops on which we wanted to install our application or anything like that so we will be going to create hundred things here right so that those individual device can subscribe to the uh, messages and also can publish something on the cloud if they wanted to right uh, the example would be we have kind of hundred of thermostat in a building and each thermostat can subscribe 
uh, to the message and also can publish. So publish would be the uh, they wanted to publish there. What is the current temperature right now? Current state basically. And uh, uh, what message usually we can send them to is like uh, after how much time you need to uh, kind of uh, publish this temperature reading like after five minutes, after ten minutes, uh, in an interval of one hour or whatever it is, right? So uh, so each thing is basically individual device for you. So what we will be going to do, we will go inside this create thing option. So for now we are creating a single thing, right? We, we can create multiple things as well, but for now let's see only create single thing. After that we just need to write demo device or any relevant name which you found uh, better for your use case. Then after if we want we can have a thing type as well. So thing type is basically let us suppose you have uh, an building okay, and you have some thermostat uh, some air conditioners, some lights, some fans. Okay, so what you wanted to do, you want to group them, group group them actually, logical grouping basically. You wanted to do, you wanted to group all the fans, you wanted to group all the lights, you wanted to group all the ACs. So you can create a basically thing group, and after that you can select the thing group as well. So for now, I will not keep this thing thing group, and there are different properties. So I think that's not very much important for us for now. Just just focus on this thing name. Then after we have this device shadow, so device shadow basically uh, I will just uh, explain you a little significance of this but definitely we will go we're going to use this option only no shadow for now. So let us suppose we wanted to sync our device state onto the cloud and if we make some changes on the cloud we wanted the device should get notified of the, those changes. Okay, so that is the device shadow basically. So light is on inside the building. If someone from the using some push button onto the exact building, just turn off that switch off that LED, we will get be notified onto the cloud as well, like from the shadow only, like this light get off for now. Okay, so device shadow is basically what is the current state of the device on the physical entity that is get reflected onto the cloud. That is device shadow. Okay, so shadow is obviously making sense here, right? In in this context, so I will I will not do anything for now the reason being is we just wanted to subscribe subscribe from our devices that is the main thing so i will go next so uh, it is now asking for configuring device certificate okay so why do we need certificate is uh, so we wanted to listen to messages or we wanted to publish something on onto the cloud okay so that is something if so that no no kind of uh, if someone is not authenticated they cannot access our servers right our activity AWS IoT core. So that's the reason of having a certificate. So uh, in the like uh, s some less secure uh, way is username and password. But, but to make it more secure, AWS recommended to use the AWS I mean certificate. So I will be going to create a new certificate and then after we click on next. Okay. Now certificate thing is done. After we have we have this policies. Okay. So policies are basically we are creating a device. Okay. So Policies is just a way to provide some permission to the devices. Okay, so this device What can what uh, this device is allowed to do? Okay, so this device can publish to the messages this device can subscribe to the messages this device can uh, List all the MQTT topics. So basically those things. Okay, so what we will be going to do although I have created this allowed at all I will go again inside the create policy section and uh, I will uh, uh, again name it as allow all copy so that it makes sense to you and then after I will going to allow all the actions so if you wanted to let us suppose you want your device to only connect and the publish message you don't want to get uh, you don't want to provide the receive permission okay so you can you can do uh, those type of things as well so you can control uh, those things so for now I will allow the, uh, I will allow device to perform all the actions then after policy resource, so basically you wanted to kind of uh, allow all the actions but on a specific resource but for now I will make this a star only and I want my device to uh, subscribe and publish to any of the resource okay so that's the reason of having this star star and I will just click it okay so this allow all copy has been created uh, if I go back here I have this allow all copy so for now I will select allow all so that it looks good but let's select this allow all copy only okay so after that I will just click on create thing okay so now our device thing is created 
the only important point is it is showing us to download the certificates okay the download certificate is required we need to download the certificate the reason being is when we wanted to subscribe it from the code perspective we need to uh, uh, kind of configure the credentials and for that per perspective we need to uh, pass certificates private keys and uh, device certificate okay so that's the reason of having this so what i will be going to do we need to download this device certificate that is the first thing make sure to have this device certificate then we need to download public key private key and then after amazon root uh, uh, amazon trust service endpoint okay so basically first is device certificate second is public key third is private key and fourth is root certificate okay so i will not going to download all those things the reason being is i already have this test one device pre created so once you have downloaded okay so i will i will make you clear this amazon root ca1.pem is basically this amazon root ca certificate okay then after we have this private key private key is obviously very clear this is the private key and then we have this certificate.pm so basically this is the device certificate okay so we are using three things the first one is device certificate uh, i think private key and after that root ca certificate okay so those three things and uh, here it is the device certificate amazon root and the private key okay so i think we, i hope you are clear now so i will i will going to close this so you must download and public key continue so i will click on done it is not allow me even not i will just refresh it i don't need this okay so i will go inside the test one client only so that test one device only okay so now uh, what i am assuming is you guys has all, all, all you you guys get some sort of page like this okay and uh, here we have a uh, test one device created with a specific arn type billing group we have not provided anything that's a reason of having this hyphen hyphen and then we have certificates obviously we can't download i, I mean we can download the certificate but definitely we can't have that uh, kind of uh, uh, that public public keys and all those things so i uh, i think that is the recommended reason by the aws to download in the first place okay so things group device shadow activity and package version i think all those options are we will discuss i think later in some another video but for now our major perspective is to subscribe to the subscribe to the aws iot core okay so let's switch back to the code part so what we are doing is we are using aws iot python sdk okay so uh, that library is uh, uh, is provided by aws only so once uh, i think you can just install it using pip install aws iot python sdk right once then we already have this iot endpoint we are very clear client id okay so client id is just a normal string make sure to have this client id unique okay so it is just a unique string for you that's it not, not, nothing like that okay now topic topic is basically on which topic our device would be listening okay so uh, if you see here if i go inside the mqtt test client so we will be going to publish on a specific topic so what topic we we will be publishing on the same topic we need to provide here only so that this device can uh, subscribe to that okay then we are just creating client passing client id then after we are configuring it so by passing iot endpoint and port is triple eight three that is the default port after that we are configuring the credentials we have already discussed how we will be going to disc have this so i i am i have downloaded this inside the local directory inside the search folder you can also download in the similar way and you just need to pass it here right once then we are connecting it okay and if we pass something wrong here either the client id or the certificate we will not be able to connect and you would be getting error here only okay now what we need to do is let us suppose we wanted to subscribe this okay so on the subscribe if you if i go here so subscribe we need to pass three things the first is topic qs and callback so topic uh, on which we need to subscribe that we have passed iot test topic we have passed right qs is one so we will discuss later this q q o s okay uh, 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 in detail uh, in another video but uh, let's kept it as one only and callback is uh, let us suppose you receive an message on the topic what action you wanted to perform so basically you can just pass a method here as well okay method definition as well so for now i haven't passed any method i am just i have just passed the lambda function basically 
and uh, having two kind of inputs and uh, whatever we are getting we are just printing that message that's it for now okay just to make it easy and uh, for the uh, kind of uh, infinite time i am i have started the loop so that this this code doesn't end right so that's the reason and if in case any keyboard interrupt occur so the, we can disconnect the client as well so if we wanted to stop it okay this test message is not important i think so we can just delete it okay so now i will uh, just uh, uh, run this iot core subscribe and here you see i like we 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 haven't print anything actually we can write and print message here like client connected successfully sort of way but that is not required that is i think we we that makes sense okay so let us suppose what i will do i will change this as to p for now and if i stop it and rerun it definitely we will be going get at this info field right and the reason is this is not the correct iot endpoint okay so i will be going to run it okay that's done so now what we will be going to do we will just copy this topic name here come here iot test and we will be going to publish and you can see here we have this message on our aws console received message this received message is basically coming from uh, this test and what is inside this message sort payload we have we are getting it here right so if we send let us let us suppose send message to publish and you can send message to okay let's suppose i change the send message 3 publish it i will be going to have the send message 3 so in this way basically we can subscribe to anything from aws iot core right in the next video we will be going to see how we can uh, like we will be going to integrate this complete code in our uh, in our application scenario so uh, basically in the employee monitoring system code base so if you have any queries or you can any feedback uh, if you have any feedback for me you can post it out in the comment section thank you That's